Hello everybody, TA Drag Racer here. I decided to do a quick video on the last day of the year, 2022, December 31st. I want to show my 4K settings I use to record OBS Studio. It's working real well. I had to change some things from previous versions. I had some growing pains doing that, but I've got settings that are working real well now. I'm recording all my gameplay in 4K. My sim rig I use, I, I record some iRacing and other sim racing. That system only has a 2K monitor, but I can still record it in 4K, there's no issues. The recording's coming from the video card, not the monitor. So as long as you have a 4K setup as your main monitor, you can set OBS up to record 4K. And I'll show you how to do what I did to do it. Anyway, there's other ways to do it. First thing you want to do is ensure that you have OBS running in administrator mode. The surest way to do that is go into your apps, pull up your OBS from apps. This is Windows 11. Windows 10 will be a little different. Right click it. I have to do more on here. You can run it as administrator, but that not necessarily set it as the default. Open file location. <clears throat> That's just bringing up shortcut for me I gotta do that again show more options I right clicked it show more options what you want to find and it may show up quicker if you're on like Windows 10 is properties and it depends on how you have your computer set up go to properties this will be the actual executable file you have a window that looks like this go down to advanced here click on that check run as administrator and hit OK that will set it as default. Every time you open up this program, it's going to run as administrator no matter how you open it up. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. Now let's go over the settings. To set it up as a 4K recording, you have to have a 4K monitor that you're setting it up on, which I do. Go to settings. The first thing I always do is go to video. You see I have it set up for 4K. That's one of the options. It defaults to 1080p. You can set it up for whatever type of monitor you have. For instance, if I do this sitting at my sim rig on the 2K monitor, all I get is a 2K option. But since I'm doing it sitting here at my main desk where I have a 4K monitor, I can set it up for 4K. I put the output at 4K and I have it at 60 frames per second. Hit apply if you've had to change it. The next thing you want to do, I didn't change anything in general or stream at this point. Go to Output, click on Recording, set this on Advanced. It's going to have another option. I think it's called Simple. And that'll be the default. Change that to Advanced. I can't change it because I'm recording. Type will be Standard. Here, set your recording path to whatever your quickest drive is in your system. Mine's an M.2 drive, so I've got it set to that. Just browse, find the directory you want to put it in, hit OK, and it'll insert it into here. I had to change from MKV to MP4. MKV just doesn't work for me anymore. I don't know why I was using it. Now, no matter how I adjust the settings, I can't get it to record properly. I guess blurring in the recordings leaves artifacts. I'm not sure what's going on with it. But I have no problem in MP4. And that's what I had to change to get this fixed. The next thing I changed, I have an NVIDIA video card, so I changed the encoder to the NVIDIA NVENC H264. If you have an NVIDIA card that has that as an option, you should use it. It puts a lot of the load onto your video card instead of the processor. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, set it to whatever your best option is. I don't necessarily know what all those are. This is how I have mine set. I didn't change these. I have no rescale output, no custom settings, no file splitting. <clears throat> Scroll down. I had to change this to CBR. It was originally CQP, which originally set the above up to MKV. And the, and the CQP is what I always used when I was running MKV. And like I said, I just can't get the settings to work anymore. I can't get it to clear up. But I said CBR if you're running MP4. Bit rate I changed to 40,000. It started out at 2,500. The best way to change it, 
I had settings that worked in the past, so I tried it and it seemed to work. Just highlight it and you can type in whatever you want the value to be. Whenever you change something, you'll have to hit apply before you change screens. This defaults to zero. Set it on two. Just click that up twice. You can change it by clicking these. The presets are different now with the newer versions of OBS. If you have an older version, you won't have this. But it defaulted to the slower bit rate, better quality. I left it there. I didn't change that. Tuning quality. It's high quality. That was the default. Two passes. Profile. That I had I had to change profile. It defaulted to high. I put it to main. It, psychovisual tuning checked. Zero GPU. Max frame rates too. Those were defaults. I left those alone. I said anytime you change anything, hit apply. Audio, all I did was add my microphone here for my headset. Hotkeys, I got those set, but that's, you can do whatever you want in there. If you want hotkeys, put them in. If not, don't worry about it. And then the last thing I changed was advanced. You want to make sure your process priority is high. It defaulted to normal. Change it to high. Leave that checked. It should be checked. If it's not, go ahead and check it. Direct 3D 11. I left that as default, but I did change this. It was, I think, like 702, 701. I changed it to 601. The other settings I left default, limited. The HDR, I don't usually record in HDR. My system does do HDR, but I don't like the recordings. They just look kind of washed out to me. I left all this down here as default. And these are the settings I have. You can check them versus yours. Hit apply if you need to, and that's all you need to set. You should be able to record, if you if your system's capable, you should be able to record in 4K quality. You may have to change some of those settings if you're not getting very good recordings, if your system is not quite as capable. You may have a better system, which you may be able to set the settings to higher, but what you would do is go into settings. Things you'd want to change is like on output, you can change... Ah, look, the BPS went back 2,500. I want 40,000. Apply. I don't know why I did that. That changed. Is this all? Oh, it's on streaming. That's my fault. Let me cancel that. Don't do what I did. <laughs> go into settings. Go to output. Make sure you're on recording. Now hopefully these didn't change. Now they look okay. Things you can change. Come down here. You can change your bit rate. Go to a lower bit rate if you need to. Um, you can change this. You can go to lower quality, which basically it changes. But if it's not running at this one, change it. Go up to the next one. Try it. Go up to the next one. Try it. Fine tune your system what works best. That's what I had to do. These you'd probably leave the same. I wouldn't change anything in there. Those are about the only things I would change are those two things. And give it a try. I hope it works for you. As you can see, my screen lights up. It gets dark. I'm using an LG C2 42 inch. It's a beautiful picture. Great 4K. I have no problem when I'm gaming. But if I'm doing stuff like this on the desktop, It'll start getting dim after a while. It's one of the things you got to live with with the OLED screen. But the screen is excellent. I'm actually switching to the same screen onto my race rig. I'm just waiting on some parts to come in for my stand. But that's, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope these settings help you if you're having any issues whatsoever. And I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. If you like the video, consider subscribing. And have a wonderful new year.